Here is uh, a uh, a piece put together by Vic Berger. Of this is oh is that oh, what they Nathan, called it Nathan Bernard I was think, it Nathan Bernard one. yes who is another uh, great it's Nathan friend Bernard of the show. yeah um and uh, this is I guess they called it the Night of Liberty it is uh, Owen Benjamin who's some dude I've never heard of uh, Mike Cernovich who is Cernovich some Cernovich. dude who really has had a very rough couple of months and I feel. Um, really happy about that, but also somewhat responsible, uh, which makes me feel even happier. I mean, Cernovich, um, again, your muffin basket's coming. I don't want to freak you out. Um, uh, but, um, if I, if, you know, just know that metaphorically I'd be sending you a muffin basket. I'm sorry about everything that happened with your, uh, when you got with that whole Chuck Schumer thing blew up. And I promise you the documentary film that we're making in honor of you is coming out very, very soon. I think you're really going to enjoy it in many ways. It's going to be, um, sort of like a, a, a memoir for you. And that you'll be able to share with your kids or uh, your grandkids or whomever or cousins or family. Send around to your family and uh, just give them a sense of what you've been up to. Um, and, uh, and of course, here's uh, Gavin and Stefan Molyneux, who I debated uh, way back when, when he was pretending to be a libertarian uh, cult leader as opposed to just like an alt-right cult leader. Uh, but uh, here they go. Thinking that like a pedophile should have rights when in reality most people want to, you know, put a bullet in their heads. You know what I'm saying? Clap for me! Don't clap. Clap for me! Look at Sir on the phone. We are the champions, my friends. All right, so pause it just to explain what's going on here. This is a panel, and they are sitting in front of a panel with microphones. And they're, I don't know, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about, but throughout all of this, Cernovich is on his phone, I guess, theoretically tweeting or trying to read tweets about him sitting up there. I mean, who knows? But Mike Cernovich, Cernovich.com. <laughs> you, you in the back. You, no, fuck what you heard. People are going to do what they want to do, you know? Yep. Yeah, the, so the night's already falling jokes, apart though. that early. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, there's sexism against men. When I was a kid, <laughs> you got beat up, you got molested, and you brushed it off. Too many children, zero population growth. We don't need... Oh, wait. Shit, we do. Sorry, I forgot about that. Let's open the gates to the third world. In they come. Psych. <laughs> maybe slut walks are kind of sad. And maybe it's sad to watch a woman in New York let her ovaries dry up to become a colostomy bag for someone else's cum. Boom. I don't think he knows what a colostomy bag no, is. I don't think so. sex work? <laughs> <laughs> this is the... That's Posobia. Oh, my God. Mr. Cernovich. Like Mr. Cernovich. 95% Mike. male audience. There is some 85. Hollywood pedophile looking at that, <laughs> saying only pedophiles are allowed to make films. 2000, 2017 and 2018 was the vindication of every bizarre, weird thing that I ever said, because it's all true. I'm like, look, they're all pedophiles. <laughs> and uh, this is the point of the night where we're going to turn it into an official party. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's the tradition we like to listen to us uh, 80s music or can we just play that back to back with a video from the dsa party friday and see whose group is more appealing oh my god this like that's the thing that kills him he's never gonna be cool again you know what here's the thing and this was true of andrew breitbart fundamentally this is a resentment that they're not famous these are people who desperately want to be famous, who don't have the talent to be famous, who think they're not uh, being famous because other people don't like them. And their anger at themselves and their frustration turns outward. And this is what you get. I mean, honestly, this could all be explained by the, the, that, that one fact. They all desperately, desperately 
want celebrity and fame. They want to be respected oh, by, uh, by cool. famous people. Yeah, but that's the, that's in their mind. That's what it is. Like, that, used to be his, that used to be Gavin's entire identity was convincing everybody that his version of cool was cool and yes. racism was cool and sexism was cool. And then when society moved on, you know, he lost his goddamn mind. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly what happened. And he still thinks that he can use whatever cool points he has remaining to turn these awkward, lonely, white male nerds who want to be shirt. hipsters into fascists. But I got some news for you, pal. DSA people are a whole lot cooler. So, well, the other have thing you ever had sex with I a mean, tranny? It's like oh, <laughs> you could join this club and go to that lame party, or you could join our club and hang out with cool people who want to talk to you about socialism. It's like let, me, let me let me tell you what the saddest moment I think could ever be will be like in a couple of years if Gavin accidentally sat down and watched like some of these videos mm. of of him up there wasted in an ill-fitting suit surrounded by 25 year olds wearing fred perry shirts <laughs> sad, sad. like like i mean just but that's partially what's dis- that's like honestly that's what's disarming that's like hope speaking of disarming that's like hope you don't have any weapons in the house oh because well, yeah. bad sad things could happen in that moment but that's why mike thernovich from mike thernovich.com is kind of disarming <laughs> because i think that he's He's clueless and imbecilic enough to think that like this is the heights. Malin Yu is enough of like a twisted evil little worm to just be like, I don't even care right. about global mainstream cool or anything like that because I just want to like terrorize a group of other people that I can hustle. He'll move Gavin's, on. I mean, yeah, he'll move on. Malin Yu, I guarantee you, yeah. will be into He's like crystals or something right. else in five years. He'll be on to the next thing. Definitely. But Gavin is the one that, yeah, it's got to sting gonna... the most because he has the greatest recognition that he is buttressed and surrounded by utter losers. Yeah, I think that's true. I think Fred Perry actually released a statement saying that they don't want to be associated with this kind of rotten ideology. I bet. I bet. Um, it's because they're pedophiles, Mike Thernovich, MikeThernovich.com. <laughs> see, that, see, that's why he's so good. He's just so genuine. Calling. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.